every night of my week is going to look different, obviously. I'm going to have different circumstances, different things. But what I want to be a routine for my nights this year would be one, to work out, so take care of my body. And then another thing would be to organize or clean my space, which was, I'm going to do when I fold laundry. And then another one I definitely want to do is read a book, which I'm going to do tonight. And then what else did I want to add to my routine? Oh, skincare, obviously, do my full skincare routine. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hi guys, welcome go. back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, it's a little dark outside, a little um, dark in here too. I am coming with you, uh, I'm coming to you with a night routine. So, um, I just got off work and then I'm going to Pilates and then we'll go through my night tonight. So today's wash, wash day for my hair. Actually yesterday was, but I decided to do it today instead because I'm going to Pilates today. So might as well, you know, work out with dirty hair and, um, yeah. So I'm going to take you guys through all that. My skincare, you know what I get through the rest of the night and let's go to Pilates. Going to Pilates now, like I mentioned earlier. Um, sorry if it's loud because the car. I'm gonna name this night routine for weekdays because my night routine during the weekends are totally different. In that, like, let's say I go out on Friday or Saturday, then I'm not going to be like I'm gonna be so tired. I'm not gonna really do my full skincare routine, or um, yeah, I'm not gonna read a book or whatever I'm about to do today. So. I'm gonna call this my weekday night routine and I'll show you guys my little skincare. I've stopped physical therapy, so I have to do agility training on my own now. And I'll show you guys that, but that's a, uh, speaking of agility training and like working out just in general, because of that and like plus Pilates, so I have to do agility do training three times a week, which I don't really do. Don't tell my PT, like, well, he's not my PT right now, but I'm supposed to do at least three times a week. So it's three to five times, but like the whole thing takes 45 minutes. And if I do three times a week and I do Pilates two times a week, then when am I supposed to go like to the gym? So I haven't gone to the gym in so long, but I do want to go to the gym because I feel like my muscles are no longer there anymore or they don't look the same. Or I guess they're still defined because of Pilates, but I feel like I want my arms to be a little bit bigger than it is right now. And I feel like because I used to lift, I can tell the difference. But then again, I'm okay with what I look like right now. So I don't know. I still pay for my gym membership every month and I have not gone since like summer, end of summer, I think. So... It's also winter, it's really hard to find the motivation to go to the gym when it gets dark so easily. But yeah, so since, I mean, my name's a talkative friend, so I have to make a talkative clip. I feel like this is gonna be the only talkative clip in the video, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through the rest of my night routine. I've also lost motivation to um, film and edit videos for YouTube, so we'll see. Like, I have a video that I filmed last weekend, which was like a cleaning video, and I didn't post a video this week, so this past week and now I have to think about when I will edit and post this video this week so yeah I don't know maybe I'm just filming in vain we'll see if this goes up to the you know the web the YouTube but it's getting dark so I'm gonna end this clip right now and I'll catch you guys um, after but you catch me after Pilates because I don't I, I don't think I can really film in there I mean I could but it's just I don't feel like it, so. Oh, I forgot my water bottle. Damn it. <laughs> I'll see you guys after. Do you recognize the red lights? I'm so dumb. It's not even the Chick fil A light that's making it red, it's the tail light in front of me. But. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm in the Chick-fil-A line. I'm PMSing and craving, having such bad cravings. I literally hate a whole pack of Milky Way that my dad got me yesterday. It's already finished. And now I'm getting Chick-fil-A. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna get to the agility training today. And that's a-okay. <laughs> or tonight, that's a-okay. I will show you guys that some other time then. But I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A for my brother and I. I don't know about my parents. Mm. We'll see. Done with the Chick-fil-A. Also, spelled my name wrong, but it's okay. Fold this laundry behind me on my bed. And then I also got to wash my hair, you know, wash my face, read my book. And it's 7.30 already. And I'd like to be in bed reading my book by 10 p.m. so that I can go to bed by 11 p.m. because I'm trying to wake up at 7 a.m. Um, instead of like 7.45 right before I start work at 8. So <clears throat> let's get on this. We got this. So I just finished washing my hair and I'm gonna put, I have deep conditioner in it so I'm also going to put on a heater, a heating cap on top of it to let the deep conditioner penetrate the strands of my hair. Honestly, I've been wanting to buy this but I never did. So it's my first time using it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on I, so I don't want to do it for a super long time. Okay, while that's happening, I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about the night routine. So so I've like, talked about in other videos, my skin it's pretty bad right now it has not been this bad in like ever honestly so what i have for my night skincare i'm just going to show you that real quick so i do i use a cleanser i go between this cleanser and this cleanser so whichever one i'm feeling that day and then well before i use the cleanser i double cleanse so i use a deep cleansing oil first i use this one and then I use one of the other cleansers, and then I use um, this essence. This is something new in my routine, so it's the Snail Mucin Essence. It's been like the rave, but one of my friends didn't like it. Like when I went to Korea, I was gonna buy one. Um, my friend was like, for her, it broke her out. But then I bought some for my sister because she wanted it. So my sister said that it's it's been really helping her skin because it's not supposed to like stop your breakouts but it's supposed to help your skin barrier which is this one and then after that i use this which is a dark correcting dark spot correcting glow serum and i only use it on my dark spots areas and then i use this which is an adapalene gel point one is an acne treatment and has retinoid in it so i use that just on the areas that i have acne and just ignore the toilet it's like goes off sometimes i don't know and then um after that i believe that's the last thing and then i use my elf holy hydration moisturizer i want to get like a moisturizer that's like a lot of moisture that is very moisturizing i mean because these products dry out my skin so i need an extra hydration and um, I used to use Corology, but it wasn't working. And after using these, these have been working more than the Corology. So I've stopped my Corology. So that's that. And um, I have this scar removal that I use on my keloid for my surgery scar. 
on my leg um, post Achilles tendon repair surgery. So I use this and this has been helping it. And then also it's supposed to be good for, so it says seam scars, surgical scars, acne scars, burn scars. So for the acne scars, sometimes I'll put it a patch like on my acne scars here. And I feel like it kind of helps, but that is my skincare. And this is getting hot actually, wow. This is my first time using it and I am impressed. Um, I know I said I was only gonna have one talkative or chatty section. Um, but yeah, so like I said, that is my skincare routine. And I'll catch you guys in, so after this, I'm gonna go back in the shower and uh, rinse out the deep conditioner. And I'm gonna come out and put in my leave-in conditioner and my oils. And I think I'm gonna blow out my hair. I feel like I wanna be a blowout natural, to be honest. So like the last two weeks with my hair blown out, it's been so easy to detangle, so easy to style. It looks so cute and I'm just gonna continue that. Um, but obviously not gonna try to put too much heat on my hair because I don't want the heat damage on my hair. So I have the Dyson hair dryer that I'm gonna use. And then, um, you know, I've gotta fold my laundry, read the book. Let's see how good on time we are. It is. What time is it? What time is it? Summertime. It is 8.30. So I have an hour and a half, which is pretty ambitious as big hair kind of takes a while. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Me forgetting words. I really thought I was doing a time lapse, but no, I was doing a regular video. I don't know if I can blow it out more than this because I am tired. Like, it's not straight yet because it's not like at its full length yet, and my roots are still curly. But I think I am going to stop right here because I am tired. So, yeah. Um, see you guys when I do all four parts. Okay, so I've done three out of four sections, and it's basically 920 now, and I don't think I'm going to make it to 10 to be in bed reading this book, but I will aim for 1030 now. Um, it's okay if you fail sometimes, guys. The hair was not part of the plan. It was me who procrastinates. Ugh! And that's why, but it's fine, it's fine. Just realized that whole clip the camera is crooked I think it still is but am I gonna redo it no so 
time to read the book. So the book I am reading right now is called Dating Dr. Dill. So um, a friend of mine or acquaintance of mine recommended this on her Instagram story and best believe I got it right away. And then I also got some more books for after. I got this, this, just some random book I saw on Amazon. I don't know if you guys have that Amazon thing where if it's like you have orders over $35 so it'll give you the next day. So I just wanted to make it $35 so I just added a bunch of books that w did the same like next day shipping thing. So, Whew. thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and if you do, please subscribe. Um, like this video, share this video, whatever you'd like to do, and put on your notification bell for the next time that I post a video. So, um, let us wind down and read this book before bed. And guys, it's not even 10.30. It is 10, 10. So, great time. Just 10 minutes over our time. And I, I will take, honestly, I will say that's filming because filming takes time or adds time to routines. So I'll just give that to filming. So basically I did make 10 o'clock. Okay.